What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So today we got a new client transformation video for you guys. As usual, I want to shout out and thank my client Philip for allowing me to share his transformation and journey with you guys. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We are currently building, I currently have the largest transformation playlist on YouTube and most comprehensive playlist on YouTube. So if you guys cannot relate to this transformation, go through the playlist. Chances are there's going to be someone that you can relate to better and just motivate you to change your life, get shredded, get healthy or whatever your goals may be so let's get right into it a little background on philip he is 39 years old six seven definitely one of my taller clients that's like basketball tall that's close to like lebron james tall rip lakers anyways his starting weight was 234 pounds and his goal was just to get shredded his goal was to get in the best shape of his life and to bring out his physique bring out the abs and just look incredible for his 40th birthday and that's exactly what we did i also asked philip if he had anything to share and this is what he had to to say a little background about myself i've been training seriously for the past 20 years however only in the past few years have i made any attempt at legitimately controlling my diet mostly just counting calories and trying to keep my protein high nothing that ever lasted more than four to six weeks however with my 40th birthday approaching i knew that i was going to need something a little more concise and well thought out if i was going to achieve my goals i've watched matt's videos off and on for the past two years or so and I happened to stumble across one of his transformation videos late last year which gave me the initiative to reach out to him for help starting the diet was definitely a bit of a guessing game for the first week or two. Sometimes I would be at the end of my day and have significant imbalances in my macronutrients. However, practice makes perfect and after a few weeks, I was Johnny on the spot. With the help of Matt's diet and workout plan, I was able to get back to squatting over 400 pounds while slowly working my way down into single digit body fat numbers. I'm not going to lie and say it was easy though. Being in a committed relationship and working a job in marketing meant that there was always distractions regarding food and alcohol. Always events and social outings to plan around. I'm glad I stuck with the program though. My results are attributed to Matt's guidance and my time and hard work if anyone is on the fence about asking him to help them and achieving their fitness goals i encourage them to move forward without hesitation thanks again matt i'll be reaching out to you early next year because my wedding day is approaching quickly cheers so huge congrats to philip especially on his marriage and his wedding coming up and let's get into it week one macros 250 carbs 60 fats and 240 grams of proteins cardio was one session of 300 calories that's less cardio low intensity steady state cardio average weight was 228.2 pounds pretty significant drop from his starting weight which was 234 pounds which is completely normal if you guys watch my other transformation videos it's normal to see a huge drop in weight within the first week of dieting lots of it will be water weight we're just trying to gauge everything with all the changes to his diet his workout and just his lifestyle in general here's philip's week one pictures as you can see you can tell philip's been working out i mean he said he's been working out off and on for about 20 years strong he definitely has a good base being built you can see some outline of abs going on you can tell he doesn't really have his diet on point because he does have a pretty good amount of fat covering it however you can tell he works out he has some muscularity going on and he's in good shape especially considering he's six seven he definitely doesn't look skinny and lanky as you think that a lot of people would look let's continue week three macros 275 carbs 60 fats and 240 grams of proteins cardio stayed the same one session 300 calories less cardio new average low weight was 226.7 pounds the reason why we skip week two is because we lost the week two progress picture so we're gonna skip three and as usual we'll skip to every other week weeks four six eight ten and twelve so we don't take up your whole day so with week three the reason why we bumped up his carbs another 100 calories was just to gauge his body metabolism he lost a lot of weight in the first week so we want to try to push his metabolism because the goal is always to diet on as much calories as possible don't fall into the i gotta keep dropping calories each and every week no matter what no matter if my progress is huge or slow i just gotta keep dropping no that is not the case you can always go backwards and i've even had clients reverse and continue to lose fat for the entire duration of their coaching and here's philip's week three pictures as you can see abs are coming in ever so slightly lighting is totally different from week one so you gotta take this progress with a grain of salt however his abs are coming through even from the back you can see his v taper just tightening up just a little bit especially like that love handle oblique fat is coming in some more from the side arms like relatively the same stomach flattening out just a little bit week four macros 275 carbs 60 fats and 240 grams of proteins macros stayed exactly the same cardio however did go up to two sessions of 300 calories that's a list cardio i actually got a question on what kind of list cardio my clients do there's two main types of cardio that i recommend one is stairmaster and two is incline treadmill so the reason why i like these two types of cardio is because you can both set their pace and keep things 
consistent so even if no matter how tired or however much energy you have during that day on a bike you can definitely pedal a lot faster if you're feeling good and if you're feeling tired you're gonna pedal a lot slower so then it throws off the consistency of your cardio so that's why I like the treadmill or the stuff but there's nothing wrong with the bike or even the elliptical as well his new average low weight was 224.9 pounds and here's his week 4 pictures abs are coming in even more even more so than week 1 and 2 lighting is very different and probably the best out of all the weeks again you gotta take it with a grain of salt and understand that the lighting is better however his abs are coming through lines are looking deeper from the back his V tapers coming through even though the lighting is better you're still seeing some good progress and we're on the right track week 6 macros 250 carbs 55 fats and 240 grams of protein so we kicked carbs down back down to 250 again cardio stayed the same at 2 sessions 300 calories new average low weight was 221.8 pounds and here's his week 6 pictures so again abs are getting even tighter you can see his waistline shrinking and shrinking with each and every check-in you can see the abs getting deeper I mean he has really good ab genetics someone pointed that out when I posted him on my Instagram he's definitely blessed with some nice symmetrical abs from the back he's looking good imagine if he never cut down and was always overweight and never could see these symmetrical abs he has hiding underneath that layer of fat that's why I think everyone should at least get shredded once in their life just to unveil all their progress and hard work if you've been going hard in the gym lifting hard in the gym these past 5 10 15 years cut down for a show cut down for fun just unveil your sculpture that you built after all these years after all that dedication you put in phil has been training for 20 years so now we're unveiling his masterpiece from the side you can see his stomach flattening out even more abs are coming through and everything's looking great week eight and this is something that i haven't really shown in too many of my other transformations and that is diet breaks so each and every week with my clients check-ins i ask them to report to me how they're feeling how they're doing and depending how they're doing and feeling that's when i implement diet breaks or deloads so let's say a client's joints are sore their elbows sore maybe they try some tendonitis acting up like mine is maybe they have shoulder issues knee back whatever maybe they just need a deload for a week and then we just drop weight have them focus on form and contraction if they need a diet break let's say they have like something coming up for that week or maybe mentally they just need a diet break it's just too much they're going overboard they're just tired of dieting then i just give them a week where they don't have to track macros at all no i don't let them binge and go off the rails or at least that's the goal but i tell them you know don't track any of your macros keep your protein high eat within reason but if you're craving something go and grab it and eat it you know just don't eat the whole bag so studies show that diet breaks are more for mental purposes however it can increase your leptin levels as well leptin is your fat burning hormone and the more you diet and the longer you diet the lower your leptin levels get so having a refeed or even a diet break can go back and increase those leptin levels all over again so we kept cardio the same two sessions 300 calories he did see a big bump in weight again his weight did jump up to 226.1 pounds as you can see right here in his week 8 pictures so looking at the pictures lighting is about the same as always however his abs definitely do look a little bit bloated yes they're still looking good and a lot better than they did in week one however you can tell he's holding a lot of water even his back is looking a lot more watery it's just looking more full and puffy from the side you can see his stomach hanging out a little bit more it's not as flat as the weeks prior however it's all good just think of diet breaks as taking one step back to go two steps forward week 10 macros 250 carbs 55 fats and 240 grams of protein so we got back on the macros again cardio was up to three sessions of 300 calories new average weigh-in was 223.7 pounds so he's still higher than his week 6 weigh-in but lower than his week 10 weigh-in which is all good because his weight's slowly but surely coming back like I said we're taking a, maybe not one step back maybe a few more steps back but you know as always the goal is longevity we aim to live long healthy lifestyles not just healthy but look good feel good and here's his week 10 pictures as you can see abs are tightening up again from the back is looking way less bloated in fact yeah the back probably looks the most bloated out of his whole physique when he did you know do that diet break so it's getting back there again his VT is coming back from the side you can see his stomach flattening out all over again shoulder separations coming back and we're just getting back on track final week week 12 macros 250 carbs 55 fats 240 grams of proteins exactly the same cardio exactly the same three sessions 300 calories new average low weight was 223.5 pounds so in week 11 he had a little slip up where he had a bad day where his weight kind of spiked up again that's why he didn't lose too much weight going into week 12 but it's all good looking at his physique his physique is looking full shredded lean and mean and yeah he's just looking fantastic from the side his stomach is flattened out from the back v taper is popping and philip is gonna look amazing for his wedding and i'm so excited for that and i'm just so proud of him he's put in the work at four 40 years old he's looking fantastic better than probably the top one percent of people in their 40s especially in america sad to say however for you older guys 
in your 40s in your 50s like i've helped this isn't my oldest client like i've helped clients way older way way older than philip make amazing progress make amazing gains get shredded as well so age is nothing but a number and i just want to also thank you guys going back to the last video i just want to thank all your comments all your support yes these videos are very monotonous like it's the same damn thing every single time however i love all the feedback and support i get from you guys and you guys are the reason why i keep posting these videos to motivate and inspire you guys and just to hit every area and just build the biggest catalog on youtube to help people make gains and get healthy and change some lives and you guys are all helping me do that so as always if you guys are serious about online coaching shoot me an email gokuflex at gmail.com no yamchas allowed for programs check out my sane shredding program i would highly recommend that at saiyanarmy.com or my other workout programs as well and i'll see you guys in the next video Aloha.